welcome to today's live stream about Native Instruments Electric Tines Duo. I am your intro AI who will tell you a bit about the sounds you'll hear today. From the website comes the following information. A versatile pair of treasured electric piano emulations, pure, authentic tones, ranging from warm and mellow to bright and barking, customize your sound with a classic array of controls, preamps, and creative effects. Timeless tones, endless expression, electric keys celebrates the world of electric keyboards, putting some of the most sought-after models at your fingertips as perfectly captured, true-to-life piano emulations. Explore enduring sounds that have influenced decades of popular music, spanning from 70s disco and funk to today's chart-topping pop hits. Draw inspiration from classic builds or have fun making some your own, with an authentic selection of cabinets, tone controls and creative effects. The video description contains two links to purchase Electric Tines Duo Diamond and Phoenix. The first is an affiliated link and the second is not. In this way, you can decide which of the links you wish to use yourself. Enough chat from me. Let's hear these wonderful plugins played live by your real host. Hello and welcome. It's great to have you with me today. We're going to discuss Native Instruments Electric Duo. And these are two plugins called Diamond and Phoenix. They just released this week. And uh, I will be transparent and say that Native Instruments were kind enough to send these along. But this video is not sponsored, nor do they have editorial control over what I will say or tell you about today. The proof of this, by the way, is that for some reason, when I run these together in the same project, logic often crashes. So this might be the first live stream in which I switch presets at some point and then everything just falls over. But I'm doing it today because I really want to show you what these things can do together. And that's why the uh, duo combination of Diamond and Phoenix is really, really nice. The piece I made uh, that you're hearing in the background and that you heard the AI do the speech over before was made specifically for this live stream in preparation for the live stream a couple days ago. And it's very simple. It's just a little groove. I'm going to be using it. I've got the tracks also in Logic. This is not playing from Logic right now, but I do have the tracks in Logic and I can play over them and I will be doing that later as well. So you can hear what it's like. Well, let's talk about Diamond and Phoenix and see what we can do with them. Let's start with our first preset today. And the first preset we come to is 60s Suitcase Trem. This is, by the way, this is Diamond and Phoenix is underneath it and I'll play that in a minute and you'll hear the difference. So that is Diamond and here's Phoenix. So it's quite nice. Um, they are different, but I couldn't really put names on it. And what you will find is that each one of them, I feel, can be different depending on how, uh, depending on the sound. So basically, when we get when we get further in, you might prefer one Rhodes over the other. That's why I say to get both of these together. And uh, my moderator, because I did make him a moderator, uh, asks if that was a virtual me speaking. Yes, I use my own voice because I own it and I gave myself permission to do so. That way I have control over it, editorial control. All right, so I have a track stack as well, by the way. I've mentioned these before a couple of times. But track one, if you can see here, and for those of you who cannot, is called Electric Times Duo. Let me do the usual. I always forget at the start of the stream to put my keyboard down. I don't need it in my hand anymore or on my knee, and I always forget. Anyway, it's down now. So this is the combination of both of these sounds playing together like this. It's quite nice. That's why I wanted to do that, because I wanted to bring the duo to life. All right, so we move on to the next sound and hope logic does not fall over. All right, 70s suitcase trem. This is nice. Ah, 
and we'll move to Phoenix and do the same thing. Every time I press the preset button, I'm really freaking out, like it's, it's gonna die. <laughs> So now I've done that, I can A-B them for you, say, um, the same. So back to diamond, I'll play like a, the phrase, the same kind of phrase on both. What am I playing? What am I going to play? And Phoenix. Quite rich, isn't it? They're both really rich, and then together. Now, sometimes the only way to get the trems to be in sync is to play a little bit of the transport. Ah, there we go. Now they line up, because when you change presets at different times, of course, they don't line up. So now they should be in sync. So if I... And I will do the usual, we'll go down an octave and I'll play you di uh, diamond first, low range. And Phoenix. And of course, together, just reset the transport. So quite nice, I'd say. I really enjoy these. Um, they're different than everything else I own, and I say that a lot with these things, but it's true. All right, we've changed preset, and 80 suitcase tremolo. That's a really different sound, and I'll just change the same on Phoenix as well, just so that we're aligned. Now, I will say that there are points in this demo that things will not be aligned, the presets do not line up. And when I stack those together, you get some very interesting results. See, that's really interesting. See, that's the 80 suitcase trem on Phoenix, and then uh, 80 suitcase trem on Diamond. It's faster and it's different. And they are uh, made at the same time by the same company. So, but that doesn't mean that the presets have to be the same. There's no rule against them being different. And I, I just, I like that they're different actually. And Phoenix. And of course, the obligatory put them together. They kind of change against each other in some cool ways. I just, I think that's quite interesting. Wow. Right, Diamond, next preset, let's go. Basic diamond. Yeah, so we like that. Let's get ba basic Phoenix up. Oh, yeah. Honestly, I'm going to be basically holding my breath for the entirety of this live stream. <laughs> but I didn't not want to do it this way. I really wanted to show it to you in the best light I could manage. Um, so we got, I got both of them loaded. And Phoenix. And let's do some low stuff.
and the same riff on Di uh, on Diamond. And of course the two together because it's just what we do. and tone. I really do like these. All right. I've hit the button. Oh boy. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? It was going to happen. It's happened. So let's just reload it. <laughs> Didn't take long. And there is the problem. I don't know what exactly causes this problem, but it is a problem. It's all right. We'll just reload. That's what you're here for. I, it gives me a chance to read the chat anyway, so I'm going to do that. See what everybody's saying. All right, all right, all right. Seriously. That just shouldn't happen. It just shouldn't happen. Alison is here. Welcome. Louis Morehouse is here. Welcome. And uh, my mate, Moody Man, is here. Really glad about that. Dom. Yeah, man. Matt and Steve would like this, yes. So that's us. We're all caught up with the chat. So it's just waiting for Logic to return its hands to me because, wow, I mean, that, that's a real issue. But like I said, um, I'm going to give, I'm basically trying to give you guys some inspiration of how you'd stack these together and what kind of presets do work well together. Sometimes I will, because of the way that the divergence happens, uh, it will split up at different points. So when we get to certain parts, as I say, since the presets are not 100% named the same, uh, you get, there's one where there's a pad, I think, on Diamond and like something else on Phoenix or something. And oh my gosh, the combination of these two was glorious. I went through quite a lot of these last night and it was absolutely fine. Oh, that's the wrong project. You know, I'm so stupid. What I loaded was that project, not uh, the thing that I was supposed to load. That's actually really hilarious. Saved, not auto saved. So I'll just have to uh, run this again. No, not that. That's the talky one. Give me the non-talky one. Thank you. Bloody hell. This is how we roll, okay? It's live. It happens. Never work with animals. Oh, look, it's back. Never work with animals and toddlers on a live stream. And technology, because it's going to just eat you for breakfast. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Right. Logic is loading. Things are happening. We're going to get back in just a little moment. All right. Everything's here. Sweet. All right, so where were we? We were at basic. Bed. Okay, there we go. The bed mics. Now, can I get back to the same place, please? Okay, I've pressed the button and it didn't crash this time. All right, all right, all right, all right. That's enough of that. We're live, we're back, it works, until it doesn't. I expect this will happen again, but I'm going to get through these somehow, come hell or high water. It might take a few crashes to get it through Logic's head that I'm not a quitter, but deal with me, put up with me if you can. All right, so now that we're back in business, we have this bed for mics preset on Diamond and something else on Phoenix, and here's one of the divergent points. That's all about the mechanical sounds of the roads. It's quite nice, actually. It's quite different. Oh, I didn't full screen it. Apologies for the sighted folk among you. I was meant to full screen the window. Right, now I have done it. So this one is called Bell Like Amp Pure, and it's different than the bed for mic sound.
nice, aren't they? And of course, the obligatory stack. Quite unusual, quite unusual. Right, cross your fingers, your toes, your eyes and your nose. I'm pressing the preset down button. Please do not die. Okay, blue diamond. There's some saturation in that, it's quite nice. Okay, and I'm doing it on the Phoenix track, on the Phoenix track, <laughs> honestly. Oh, it, this is this is like the most nerve-wracking thing I have ever done. Okay, Blue Phoenix and Blue Diamond loaded successfully. Yeah, and then people ask, like, why did I do this? Am I trying to, like, be a masochist or whatever it is? No, I just wanted to show you the joys because there are some really cool things that they stack together beautifully. Diamond. By the way, that's not clipping your hearing. That's kind of some saturation because, you know, some people like saturation on their Rhodes plugins. So if you're hearing what you think is clipping. It's some dirt and grit, you see. It's okay. So there we go. Right. That's that. Oh boy. Anyway, how are you all doing today? I hope you're doing well. I am um, <laughs> probably going to fall over of stress. Right. Diamond. Blue diamond. Just press the button. Press button. Press button. Just press the button. Okay, I've done it. I've done it. Chop diamond. Oh, I like that. Here we go. Ah, I've hit the button, I've hit the button. Okay, okay, okay. Chopped Phoenix. Chopped Phoenix and Chopped Diamond, both together. We've done it. That's Phoenix. I can't always tell the difference between both of these. But that's okay. I mean, there might be a time when I can, like in a mix, for example, because sometimes you play it raw and you can't really hear it. Some of you have more discerning ears than I do, so if you can tell the difference, let me know. Diamond. And Phoenix. Okay, I can hear that on the on the on the top end, uh, kind of the middle register. It's really cool. I like that. Stacking these all sound very very close together. But the stack actually is really nice like that. It's it's warm and it's sort of spread a bit. I like that. Yeah. What do you guys think of that? I'm trying to read the chat, but for some reason it's being Recalcitrant. Okay, there we go. No. Right, let's move on to the next anyway, while I try and sort that out. It's gonna be one of those days, I think. I'm, it's, it's bloody nerve wracking. Right, okay. Chorus two amp. 
Oh, I love that. Could play that all day. Right, here we go. Next one. Pressing the button on Phoenix as well. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Every time. Phoenix? I'm going to hit play over here for a second. Ah, I think my stream reader decided to die a little bit on the Windows side. That's where I'm reading all the chat, by the way. Right, I think it's back in business. It tried to wind the stream. I definitely didn't want it to do that. All right, can we behave? Yay, it's back, I can see things again. Oh, that was nuts. Right. So that was Diamond, and we play the same on Phoenix. That's nice. I really like that sound. So I've done the the ducker trick, by the way, on the on the record on the um the thing that's playing back, so I can talk and press play and logic at the same time. So if that sounds why what you're hearing, that's why it's doing that. Yeah. Right. I'm going to be brave. I'm going to change this preset while it's playing. So. Diamond Classic Chorus. And Phoenix, please hold your breath. Oh, we did it. Phoenix. And now here's Diamond.
let's stick them together. Truly, so much fun. All right, we change from classic chorus to don't say crash. If you said crash in the chat, I will see and I will find you. Flanger, classic flanger. <laughs> I mean, you might be right, to be fair. Are you ready? Ugh, I've hit it. Okay. Classic flanger on that one as well. Okay, we're safe once again. That's the combination of both. So here's Diamond, I was playing on that a minute ago. And Phoenix. And then the two of them, it's really nice. still have that barking A flat, no matter how I play it. Partic particularly like on a, on a sound like Rhodes where it just stands out. I can go up the scale. That one right there. It just, it will always just be there. <laughs> but yeah. Let's drop down an octave. Um, And Phoenix. Seriously, even if I play that A flat soft, it still screams. Nice though, nice. Right, next one. Um, it's gonna be classic phaser. What's the difference? I thought we had that. Okay, that was classic flanger. Classic phaser. I love that sound. That's Phoenix. Phoenix. And together.
Diamond. Phoenix. Diamond. Phoenix. Isn't it weird how sometimes they sound really, really close and sometimes, depending on what I play, they, they are different. But the same sound can be close to the other one as well. It's just very strange. And... Oh, there's an interesting kind of pitch up on, on the diamond when you release the key on this sound. And on Phoenix, there's more of a bell sound, which is what they said in the walkthrough, the official Native Instruments walkthrough. And stacked. changing. Here we go. Classic stage amp. And I've got to do the same. On Phoenix. Doing the same on Phoenix. Classic stage amp on Phoenix has been achieved. All right. Diamond and Phoenix. It's quite nice. Both of them are nice. I like them both for different reasons. I like the diamond because... It just kind of bounces in a really good way on this particular sound. And when I say I like uh, them in different ways, when I mean if I like a sound over the other, it doesn't mean I like the entire plugin over the other. I just mean this instance of this sound in this plugin. And that one's got so much, so much character and rudeness to it. Uh, rudeness in a good way, in that it's, it's just right in your face. That's Phoenix. That's good for, for um, softer stuff, but it's still got bark and it's just not, it's not as um, abrupt. And... That's your Phoenix. Diamond. That's Phoenix. Yeah, such richness, such richness. Okay, pressing the button. The button has been pressed. It's always the second that crashes it, not the first. And I noticed this during my testing yesterday and the day before. So we've moved on on one, and let's see where we are. I need to. I'm going to say the name of everything. Classic vibe. So if I forget where I am in the chat, because I have to reload logic, you guys can tell me. All right, I've hit the button on Phoenix as well. Classic vibe on both. Oh, yes, this is nice. Phoenix.
I like Phoenix better in this instance. Or I say better, again, it's going to be, depend on the music I'm making at the time, but it just, oh, there's something about that's absolutely beautiful. Here's Diamond again. <laughs> Phoenix. It speaks to me in a way that I can't put my finger on, but it's beautiful. Maybe the combination of them will just make me melt. I think that is absolutely gorgeous. The combination of the two of them together is just magical. That's the stuff, ladies and gents. That is the stuff. I'm going to hit the play button again, purely because I do want to take this time to catch up on the chat. I am one of these people on our live stream. I like to keep up with the chat because people ask questions and I hate it. But if I write something in the chat on a YouTube live, I mean, most of the time it's people that do live with 400 viewers instead of, you know, the lovely personalized lot that are here. But that doesn't mean I, uh, that they shouldn't be able to read the chat. But anyway, I'm going to try and catch up now. Okay. A Ticket to Quietness says Dom. Yes, we could play A Ticket to Quietness on these roads. That would work great. Eric Lambie is here. Welcome. Miguel, love to see you as always. Nice. Somebody's saying they're still my finger drumming. Thank you for watching. Nick Cantos. The difference between the two things, um, Andrew asks. Do you know what? I, I'm not 100% sure. It's in the description a bit about what the differences are, but they are two different rows from different eras. One from the 60s, I think one from the 70s. Yeah. Diamond sounds smoother, says Nick. Phoenix sounds rougher and harder. And that is gonna be very dependent on the sound that we hit and how they fit together. You know, it's gonna, it's gonna depend on what you wanna do and how you feel about it. And some of the presets don't have effects, as Miguel points out, and you'll notice the difference then. Yeah, we came across some of that earlier. And reversing the polarity on one of them. Yes, that's a point. I could I'd probably do that as well. But I don't really want to... The, the machine today I, is, is upset with me. And I, it's not even my Mac. It's something to do with contact and complete control. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's very, very annoying. Let's repeat that same riff on diamond or on uh, diamond. Oh, I hit the back button. I hate doing that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Change back to a uh, diamond. Diamond and Phoenix. See, so it's going to be very dependent on the music you're doing as to which one you really want to like. I mean, I know I said in this particular preset, in the case of this classic vibe, I liked the Phoenix better. But 
but on in, in the case of playing it over the track, I don't have a favorite because in a mix, things always feel different. So whatever you do solo is never gonna necessarily be your go-to mix. So what I'd say, um, what I'd say honestly is probably you should just pick up both of these um, instead of one or the other because they both will definitely have a place to uh, to fit in your in your collection. That was uh, Diamond and this is Phoenix. See, in the previous preset, I said that Phoenix had a much sort of uh, brighter top end, like more belly. But in this case, Phoenix is, is dark than Diamond. Listen to this. And Diamond. It's very music boxy, isn't it? It's very funny. It's so interesting. All right, I'm hitting the magic smoke button. I've hit the magic smoke button once and click organ on diamond, click organ, remember that name, and I've hit the magic button again on Phoenix, and click organ on Phoenix. That's all over your head, isn't it? And so that's diamond. So let's play something that kind of encompasses both ends of the keyboard. And on Phoenix. There's a lot more harmonics in the top end on Phoenix on this case. And on Diamond. And together. Madness. Right, 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 right. I'm gonna do it. I'm going in. I've done it once. Cloud Echoes. This is one I think that they don't line up. Um, do you know what? I'm gonna save my progress because I'm concerned that I just break things. Right, button has been pressed on. I should do that every time I change preset because if I save it, then I can come back to where we were. Close to acoustic. So here, they don't line up. So here, in the case of Cloud Echoes and Close to Acoustic, Cloud Echoes on Diamond. Oh, that one's a long one, so I won't be able to speak because of course, if you remember from all my other live streams, apart from the first or second where I screwed something up. Um, yeah, so this one um, is long and then Close to Acoustic. So of course, stacking these is gonna be really, really obvious what's playing what, so let's do it. So someone had asked whether these are part of your complete bundle. And the answer simply is no, because these have just come out this week and Complete 14 has been out for a year now. Um, we're in the intermediary year, I think, where there's no complete release. Um, I think that means it comes out this year. So Complete 15 will contain these products, uh, but because they were made in the intervening time between 14 and 15, any product made in intervening years is not in the previous year's bundle because that year's bundle has already come out. So no, you can of course buy it now or you can upgrade your entire complete bundle and get them all at once. So yeah, much fun. <laughs> you couldn't hear me laughing at the beginning. That's cool, that low E flat, just like, bong. Like you've got backward reverse E bits and then you've got this, the, the acoustic of the road. It's just great. That's really funny. So one complaint I do have about both of these products is they don't make any, any use of the mod wheel. Now, why didn't you time mod wheel to tremolo depth or on off or something like every other plugin? It does my actual head in. Whoever decided that, I'm afraid you missed the bus. 
I mean, why? Why? That was Diamond, of course. Here's Phoenix. It's so hard hitting, it's funny. Right, it's been too long. We're about due for a crash. I know I'm speaking into existence, but you know how it works. Um, I've hit the button once. Combo 30 tremolo on diamond. And here we go on Phoenix. <sighs> so now we get cloud echoes on Phoenix, which means that Phoenix inserted one extra preset in there that diamond either doesn't have or has later. So I can do one of two things here, and I'll do both of those things. I'm gonna show you the combination of both of them. That's uh, Cloud Echoes on Phoenix. This is um, Combo 30 Tremolo on Diamond. And then that's the Combo 30. And if I play them both together, we get Cloud Echoes and Combo Tremolo. I love that. I think that is a fantastic combination because you get the softness of Cloud Echoes and not really much attack. If look, the Cloud Echoes just doesn't have a lot of attack. Or it's a softer attack, I should say. But then you get the Diamond, which is kind of roomy and no um, reverse, and you put the two together, it's just... It's just the greatest. That's a great combination. low B flat. I think these are 73 roads, by the way. I don't think these are actually 88s. I could be wrong. I don't remember reading anything about that on the blurb or in the walkthrough, but uh, they they let you go down. Um, ah, speak microphone cutting out because of the cloud supply. Cloud supply? Cloud. That's a native instruments product. Cloud supply. It's a different product altogether um, because of the preset. Anyway, they let you go all the way down to that low A, so you can have a low A if you want one. It's just gorgeous. And uh, in the case of a 73, you should only be able to go up to E. But if it's an 88, you can go up to C. And so they've allowed you to do that here. Now, I don't know if they stretched that last sample or if these both are 88 note roads, which is possible. They did make some. Righty ho. Track two. Here we go. Diamond changing presets. Oh, saving the presets, saving my progress. Because, um, yeah, you know the drill. Right, Crunch Leslie. That reminds me of a sort of ice cream van that's gone. Okay, next, next, next in the list. Oh, here's Combo 30 Tremolo for the Phoenix. So now, do I take Diamond back one 
I mean, because they were quite different combos, weren't they? I've gone back on Diamond. Um, this is combo 30 tremolo and Diamond. And combo 30 tremolo on Phoenix is a much deeper, the tremolo actually cuts out. Do you see? It's different. Now, listen to the way that these two uh, bite. This is Diamond, the way that if I hit really hard. And Phoenix. It's very interesting. They're quite different beasts in this instance. And them's the two together. Right, I save my progress and I hit the plus button. Crunch. Okay, back to crunch, Leslie there, and pressing the button here. La di da di da. All right, and we're back in sync. So whenever whenever I can get back in sync between the two, I will do so, so that we're not out of sync. Um, and that may happen um, quite a bit because I noticed that it did when I was going through my test yesterday. So we, I'm crunch legit on both. I'm saving the file. So this time I'm keeping my keyboard on my knee in this instance, because I bet you the first time I put it down, it's gonna switch off. <laughs> so diamond crunch Leslie. And you know the drill. Diamond. And. I don't think I hear it much in the upper registers in this particular sound. Like any differences. But I do in the lower registers, for example, Phoenix lower down. And Diamond lower down. And of course together. Let me just reset the transport, so that they can tremolo together. That's cool. Richie. Right, saving progress, hitting the button, moving forwards ever slowly. Crunchy diamond. And dancing mechanics. So we don't have a crunchy phoenix. How interesting. Which I think means that diamond dancing diamond will be probably the next one in its list but let's play these two together anyway so we can compare them not sorry compare them just hear them together so on diamond crunchy diamond and together <laughs> that's quite interesting that So I'm going to move forward on diamond, and I suspect, let's see, no, diamond pad. Right, I'm going to move forward on phoenix, hang up, just saving the progress, and okay, done that, and okay, this is the one I thought was absolutely glorious, right? So yeah, apparently there's just, there's no, there's not 100% parity. So here's, um, on Phoenix, we've got Dimension Chorus. And on Diamond, we have Diamond Pad. So 
So with that, the combination of the two of them. So with that, you've got the attack of um, Phoenix and the pad of diamond, and you've just got this beautiful kind of, oh, loveliness. Good stuff, good stuff. Diamond pad, so right, we're moving forward. All right, we're moving on to, moving on to, come on, talk to me. Dimension diamond. It's a very slow mover. I like it, I like it. Oh, we're on dimension chorus on Phoenix and dimension diamond on diamond. I think these are supposed to be the ones that go hand in hand. So in that case, let me play. There we go, just to reset the transport. If I play these together, are these going to now sync up and be nice? Yeah, very cool. Here's Diamond again. And Phoenix. Yeah. Phoenix. Quite nice, quite nice. Right, we're moving forwards. I've hit the plus on Phoenix this time, changing it up. <laughs> Dirty and real on Phoenix. And forward on diamond. Dirty and real on diamond. Dirty diamond. Lovely bit of saturation there going on. So that's diamond. Hey, you're not supposed to do that. Hey, don't do that, don't do that. Go there, behave, come back. Okay, dirty and real on diamond, on Phoenix. Diamond. Phoenix. Drop down an octave and Phoenix. together. That's really dirty and very crunchy and I like them both because they just both bring something to the table. I don't think I like one over the other in this case, but I like the combination of the Tynes duo together. Really fat, really, really fat. I think there's uh, one point in the stream I said at least once, and I always have to uh, explain that's fat with a ph, as in fantastic, not fat f. Right, hitting the button. For some reason, you didn't move. 
Are you gonna change, please, or what? Okay, it's changing. Dirty diamonds. And this one's got hiss in it. Pressing the button. Button has been pressed. Dirty Phoenix. All right, so we're both. I mean, it really lives up to its name there, doesn't it? All right, so, diamond. <laughs> uh, what's she? Let's play an F sharp, shall we? Bit of an... And Phoenix. On that lower register, I can't hear a difference, but in the top end, actually on this dirty preset with both of them giving out lots of hiss, I can hear the difference. That's diamond. Actually, this register more so. And together. I mean, that's double the dirt, man. Double the dirt. I've hit the button. Okay, one has moved, dreamy lo-fi. I remember this preset being super nice, okay. Pressing the button, and we have moved. Okay, dreamy lo-fi has been achieved in both cases. Start with diamond, dreamy lo-fi. Let's play something in B minor. Phoenix. And reset the transport two together. So nice. I just let that ring out just because it's so beautiful. I didn't really want to let go of the pedal. That's nice. Just play a big fat, you know, chord forever. That is like, I had to let go of the pedal because I would just been sat there with dead air. That low C is just so fat. If you've got subs on in your room, feel that for days. down what we got next we have got i think this is the default preset that's loading ah i've got a midi stuck note that's really annoying go away midi oh okay i did it so this is the default electric keys sound this is electric keys diamond at least on that one um this is a really huge memory thing so it might be that actually maybe it's hitting a seg fault in the memory and uh crashing because of that right we're switching on phoenix 
Here we go, hitting that button. Oh, dreamy phase on Phoenix. I think they both, by the way, have a hundred presets, but they must have sort of been distributed around in different ways. So yeah, this Phoenix Dreamy Phase is very nice. And the default diamond sound, I suppose, with no effects or anything added to it. I mean, there's nothing on it. It's just raw, uncut, and it's just really, really rich in tonality, and it's beautiful. So that's the default sound, nothing added to it, no anything. And uh, why don't we try using it with our little piece of music that we've got here, just that. Raw and uncut. Let's have a go at some of this dreamy phase here on Phoenix. Might be nice on this. go really well together um this sound both of those sounds actually fit very nicely right i'm hitting the all important save button pressing the plus button and we shift on to evolving vibrato on diamond which is great for lo-fi okay and on phoenix whoop here we go oh it's the big one 
it's the big one. So this is um, Phoenix coming in now. So do I dare? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll ask the chat for thoughts on this. Do I dare switch back to the big one on Diamond so that we can actually hear them, both of them, roar? I feel like I should, but do I want to tempt fate? I'm scared to. <laughs> it's too much. There's so much stress going on. I'm going to do it. All right, I'm saving. All right, I'm going back on Diamond. Please, please don't fall over. Okay, well... It's not speaking anymore, but that's probably because it's loading. I hope. All right, we're in. We're in. And I've saved my progress. So now we can both, you know, we can hear these live and uncut, as it were, Diamond and Phoenix in their home. Um, so, yeah, you've heard a bit of Diamond earlier with that same track. And Phoenix. Phoenix and Diamond. And of course, togetherness, because we have to do that. for the rest of the time. <sighs> All right, so we've heard a bit of both of them. Let's go to the bottom and do separates together. Um, separates together, sorry, separates. So you can hear the bottom end. So let's do some bottom end stuff. Diamond. And let's do the tops. Phoenix.
Diamond. Phoenix. Diamond. <laughs> Together. The way they phase is glorious. Wow. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yep. I'm, I'm quite happy with the sounds there. Um, I'm doing the obligatory save as we move. I'm pressing the button. I've pressed the button and we are now on diamond on evolving Verate. Yeah, we were there before, weren't we? But we didn't quite make it there on Phoenix. Pressing it on Phoenix. Okay. As it shifts out of memory. Evolving Vibrato, we're back in sync. And Phoenix. It's interesting because there are certain times when you do really, really hear the bell of Phoenix, but there are certain times when you hear the bell of Diamond, and I think Phoenix in this case really shows off a beautiful top end on this particular preset. And Diamond. Listen to that F sharp, right? That's diamond. And Phoenix. It doesn't matter if the preset's good or not. It's just interesting that you can really hear the different characteristics of these two plugins side by side when you compare them and how different presets kind of show off their characteristics differently. Can I reset the... Yeah, they're kind of in sync. So here's the both of them together. fun much fun all right so we will move on from that i will again press the obligatory save i don't i don't want to jinx it but if i say i've got wood to my right okay i'm going to say it i'm touching wood it seems that saving is stopping it from doing the c word as much okay filter clocks on diamond and <laughs> i was expecting it to prove me wrong there filtered echoes on phoenix okay And Phoenix. Oh, that's two totally different um, ideas. So now, of course, we have to do the obligatory stack them. So here's the stack. So just as a reminder, Diamond is doing this kind of echo. And Phoenix is doing this kind of echo. And then separate uh, together. It, uh, I can't talk. Here's where I think these two come into um, their own. Um, because together, you know, separately they're really cool, of course. I mean, each one of them has something to bring to the table. But together, because they have slightly differing presets, you get some really cool textures, and then you combine them, and you get sort of avant-garde, really cool stuff. So interesting. <laughs> it's interesting that low C kind of thunks on Diamond and on Phoenix. It kind of honks. <laughs> right. Hit and save. Moving forward, hitting the button, and... Oh, we get filtered echoes on um, Diamond now. So that's Phoenix filtered echoes. Whoa. 
Oh, they're so close. I don't know if I can tell any kind of difference. Okay, that's strange, strange, strange noises just happened there in my headphones. I don't know if that came over the stream. It sounded like static and it was all weird. Um, I hope that is not going to be the foreshadowing to you know what. Okay, so in this instance, the only sound I can tell that's different is the F on Diamond and Phoenix. <laughs> Out of all the keys, just this one F. That's Diamond. Just subtly different. And together? That was the two together. It doesn't really work in this instance because there's nothing really to show for it. I mean, it's not the end of the world, it's just not very exciting. Okay, what have we got next? Flying diamonds. And on Phoenix. All right, flying Phoenix. I think this one should be more interesting because yeah. All right, show me what you got. Diamond. Yeah, so you really hear the difference in tonality here. The harmonics on Diamond are very different than Phoenix on this particular preset. It's more metallic in a way on, on Phoenix and then Diamond. I think like it's almost glassy in tonality and then together. Lovely. I quite like that. I must say. All right. <laughs> they call. They call. <laughs> they call this one fondle the mechanics. I have to say that live on a stream. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm dying. It's all right. It's fine. And um, both of them are now on <laughs> fondle the mechanics. Andrew, if you're not laughing over there, I will laugh for you. Um, right. And that's diamond. <laughs> So let's put them both together and fondle the mechanics of both of them at the same time. nice tone <laughs> it's just the name i am done for i am done for right saving and moving on swiftly <laughs> fragile vibe and on the next one pressing the button ah fuzz face that scared me fuzz face so you have fragile in one case Obviously, we have to combine the two and have a really, really bad time. No, your speakers are not broken, I promise. That's just the way the sound is. This is um, Diamond there with the Fragile and Phoenix with the very obnoxious Fuzz Bass. And together, of course, Why? 
that means Diamond probably also has this preset. Why? Okay, I've pressed the button. Yeah, there's the Diamond version of first base. That is grungy mungy. And diamond. Interestingly, Phoenix has more bass than diamond. And if you can't tell the difference, don't worry, it doesn't matter. Now, the two of them together, that is attitude. <laughs> okay, that is a massive, massive amount of attitude. Like, it's like, don't look at me. I will eat you for breakfast. All right, Fuzzy Wah on Diamond. And let's try and do the same. Over here on the Phoenix. Fuzz Phoenix, okay. Okay, so it's a massive amount of reverb. It's frightening. And diamond. So if we combine these two, we'll have the most obnoxious sound in the history of sound. I think we should very run quickly away from these because wow yeah let's run let's run gentle bell can we have any more good contrasting behavior there okay hitting the button and fuzzy oh no okay that's that one that's the fuzzy wire so uh, I'm gonna skip that because we've already heard it and pressing the button one more time on, on Phoenix can we hey glass harmonica all right, so we've got some things that just don't match up again. That means that we should probably get some nice tones coming out of this thing. So remember, that's glass harmonica, and this one on diamond is gentle bell. Now, I think this should make a nice stack because of the fact that the diamond has a nice attack and Phoenix has kind of a reverseness going on. Lovely. I really like that. That's cool. So this, um, what would we call this? This would be cool. If I were going to give this a name, we've got glass harmonica with uh, gentle bell. I might call it like gentle bell harmonica or something. If I'm going to save this as a patch in my library. Oh, that's absolutely glorious if you ask me. I don't know what everyone else thinks, but I really enjoy that sound. Really good for sort of um, stuff like that, just upper upper stuff and just beautiful sparkly bits. And if I play them separately, this is diamond. And Phoenix. See, so that in this instance doesn't work by itself. I mean, I mean, it doesn't mean the sound doesn't work by itself. You just have to play longs. But all the kind of rushing around I was doing works because the attack of diamond gives it the attack needed for it to work. So when you combine the two, it doesn't feel muddy and messy. But when you just do that alone on Phoenix, then you don't know what the definition is because it's all gone. So yeah, right. Next to button, pressing the button. Okay, we've got glass harmonica on diamonds now as well. 
And that's already a very different sound than Phoenix. Here's Phoenix. Diamond. It's brighter on Diamond, isn't it? Let's um, reset the transport and let's combine them. It's quite a cool texture. Let's see what the low end does on both at the same time. That's really cool. All right, let's hit that. And uh, where are we now? Good old days. Can we reach the same on Phoenix? That is the question of the hour. Good old days on Phoenix. So, how to reset a transport so that they sync up. This is Diamond's good old days. And Phoenix. Oh, wrong way. together. I really, really, really like both of those together. It makes an amazingly widespread chorus. That's absolutely lovely. Absolutely amazing. That is beautiful. Yeah. Righty ho. Let us change to the next. Yeah. Good old vinyl. Will I achieve the same on Phoenix? Let's find out. Yes. So, Phoenix. Diamond. 
band together. Very angry. Noise, noise. Well, there we are. Shifty, shifty, oni, oni. At least we're making it now. Uh, until we don't. <laughs> Gritty diamond. And changing the phoenix. Change the phoenix, oh boy. Gritty phoenix. Same one diamond. And together, of course. that in it I like that that's diamond by itself and Phoenix I like them together though. They just they just feel really nice together. Your kid refuses to believe that we are live. Why? We've been live before. How could you not be live? Why would we I mean, do I not look live? Do I look like an AI? Is that what it is? Because the intro to the show, by the way, for those of you who didn't catch the intro at the very beginning, well, I mean, the intro, what, why did I just say that? For those of you who didn't catch the intro, <laughs> it was done by an AI, not imagery, just auditorily, because I decided I would be a bit different this time and have you read out some stats. All right, so we're moving on to the next sound. Guitar tremolo on that on diamond, and can I make it on Phoenix as well? I have, by the way, been remembering to save between changes all right so this is one of those that proves that all presets were not made 100 percent equally because listen to the reverb and the feel of this on, on phoenix and then i love the spring reverb on that. You can hear it in Diamond. It's got a spring behind it. I wish I could kick the spring because I love kicking spring tanks. They go forever. Phoenix. So together. They're quite different bees, aren't they? <laughs> quite different beasts.
are there any good Spring River plugins out there that you can crash? Do you know what? I don't know the answer to that. Surely someone's made something that you could, you know what? The, the way that you would do it, right, is if there's a Spring Reverb at all, you would um, do it live on a, on a vocal input because then you could just tap the mic and it would go through the spring. And it's not quite like kicking it, but it would at least sound similarly springularly. Springular. Okay, the new word of the day, springular. It's similar and spring mixed together. Okay, you're welcome to it. You can have it. Just remember, you heard it first here on this live stream. Right, and what we got? We got hot solo. <laughs> I, that might have been the one I used on the intro sound, but I don't remember. Okay, Phoenix, switching to Hot Solo on Phoenix as well. I did the unthinkable. I just pitch bent the roads like Herbie Hancock. You're going to sue me? Please don't. I've got nothing. That's diamond. interesting these definitely because of the way that this distortion is these really really sound different it brings out all the characteristics in the uh, in the instrument so that was uh, phoenix this is diamond can you hear for example that um, diamond has a longer release on it and phoenix And diamond. And lower down. And that was Phoenix. So you can really hear the key release on, on diamond that way. And diamond, phoenix. The mechanics aren't as prevalent. And when you play really soft, so you can hear through the distortion, the lowest velocity layers. This one. Sounds like my roads. I had a Fender suitcase Mark I and Phoenix to me. That low tine noise, just like what I used to have, just like it. Whereas the harmonics in this on Diamond don't match what I remember of them being. So I wonder which is which, if Phoenix is the suitcase and Diamond is another one, or if I, uh, neither of them are exactly it. But just, honestly, the tonality of this, these, these sounds absolutely matches up with my Rhodes that I had and I sold it in 2015. I had a Fender Rhodes Mark I for um, how many? N nine years, I think. It's 2006 to 2015. And then I had to sell it to go and visit my nan in Barbados. So I found it in my plane ticket. Man, I missed that thing. It was in not great shape, by the way, but it was still really beautiful and I enjoyed it a lot. Right, we move on uh, and we hit the Preset button and ice, ice tines. We've got ice tines now. <laughs> what a clatter. So this is Infinite Phoenix on the Phoenix and ice tines on diamond. And ice tines. <laughs> That's real cool. So, how about the two together? See, 
That one is hard to know which plugin is responsible for which part of that sound. So here's Diamond. And Phoenix. So Phoenix is doing a lot of that deeper reverb stuff at the end, which goes on forever. So if I... Great way to end a song. Just one note. One solitary note. Okay. In the sky with diamonds. Yes, of course they had to do that, didn't they? Shifting Phoenix now on as well. Just microphones, says Phoenix. I should imagine that Diamond's next preset will also be that, but let's hear it in the sky with Diamond's. Just the Phoenix microphones. I love the panning. And we stack them together. So cool. So there we are. That one is super cool. The both of them together anyway is really cool for ARPs. Now, I'm going to change the diamond preset because I think... No, we have infinite diamonds. There are more eyes in diamonds than there are in Phoenix. That's a great sound. Bloody hell. I like that. That's really cool. So, that's still on that. What if I play them both together? amount of sub in that sound they think it's the infinite diamonds look that's lovely 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 right let's see what's phoenix gonna do i'm saving i'm moving on um kalimba like all right so Let's stack these, because we had the microphones preset for two presets. Let's use Kalimba and Infinite Diamonds, and what we got? Sorry, I think I just made the camera shake by hitting the microphone stand and the camera's mounted to the microphone stand. Didn't mean to do that. I just like scratched my head and uh, it flipped everywhere. All right, so I'm loath to get rid of that. I'm setting that as a favorite on Diamond because I um, apparently missed this one in my travels through Diamond somehow. 
I went through Diamond all of, and I didn't go through all of Phoenix. Um, and I favorited lots of things in Diamond, but I forgot to favorite that. Must have been forgetful. Right, moving on in Diamond. Just microphones. That's a totally different sound than Phoenix. I'm going to bring Phoenix back to that. No, I'm not. Because <laughs> you know what happened, don't you? I loaded the thing and it decided it wasn't happy with that. So please excuse me while I reload. Well, it lasted a hell of a lot longer this time than it did the last time. So I'll take it. Right. Let's get back to where we were. Uh, open recent. Load the actual project. <laughs> and we were doing so well. I think we'd gone for an over an hour by not crashing. And I had to just try something, didn't I? I had to try it. Oh, dear. Well, at least the microphone is already back. That's something. Ah, uh, here we are. Okay, now. That's diamond on microphones. <laughs> Do I dare? Yes, I dare. I dare, damn it, because I want to. Okay, I've got it all back. I've got it all back. So, let's start with the Phoenix, in this case, the microphones. We heard that sound a fair bit because that was the sound that I used for a bunch of the last presets. See, it's quite a different sound internally. They do sound diff like different instruments. I mean, they are different instruments, but it really shows when just the microphones are being used. That's Phoenix. Yes, yes, my suitcase, definitely. There was a particular tone about it when you just heard it acoustically and it sounded really like that. My suitcase did not sound like that. It's an entirely different sound. It absolutely, I, I don't know, I can't put my finger on it. It's just different. Anyway, it's okay. We got there in the end. So let me see if I... Ah, oh, hold on. For some reason, silly, silly screen reader, whenever I um, try to stop the music from playing, um, it kind of crashes the web page. So it's not just, <laughs> it's not just the logic that's going on being crazy. Anyway, let's play the two of these together. Really interesting. Really interesting. And the low end. Oh, that was the limit. Sorry, the high end. So you can't tell which is which. So let's separate them. Diamonds. And Phoenix. Very interesting tune. Very interesting. So, let us do the unthinkable and move on to another one and see how long it takes for the next crash. So, Kalimba like on Diamond and Phoenix was there, but I just I uh, brought it back from it. All right, we shift it forward and I do the transport thing. Right. So, are they synced up again? 
that's diamond. And that's Phoenix. I quite like that. Together they sound like a nice uh, happy duo. the button and we go Leslie fast do you think Phoenix will line up it does it's an entirely different sound though it's an entirely different sound so here's Di here's Phoenix oh, I forgot to full screen it Sorry. And diamond. And Phoenix. together. There's a particular sound like this that is sort of separate, um, that kind of chord. It's great. It's like a vibraphone uh, when they go up like that. I love it. It's sort of oldie worldy, but I love it. sort of forever chords that you just can't help but enjoy. Ain't that nice? Right. Saving and moving on. <laughs> I became complacent. I, I thought to myself, oh, I've solved it, I've solved it. No, I hadn't. Leslie Slow. Lovely. And Phoenix, move the Leslie arm. All right, so we've got them both set up. Phoenix. I really, really, really like both of these sounds. I'm not sure which I like more. I just think it depends on where I am and what I'm doing. And that's Felix. Curious. <clears throat> oh dear, can't speak. I haven't had a drink in forever. Curious to know which ones you guys like for this particular sound in the chat. So this in particular is specifically referencing Leslie Slow. Yeah, curious. What do you guys think? 
the Stowe Leslie sound, Sam Allison. Yes. Which one uh, do you think you like better? Curious. That's Diamond and Phoenix. And together. how they fit together. They fit together like a glove and a hand. The two of them combined is just beautiful. I don't move on I will stay there forever and um, well yeah I could but ooh lo-fi diamond all right are we going to get lo-fi phoenix or crashing phoenix here we go <laughs> ah we got it both of them together Phoenix and Diamond. And together. A lot of buzzy, 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 buzzy noise. I'm gonna move on. Hitting save. Hitting save. I mean, I hit save by the way when it crashed. You know that, right? I was being very careful, very di diligent. Lo-fi, lo-fi escape. Let's combine these two. If I can, um, here goes, here goes. Lo fi escape on Phoenix as well. Lo fi escape on diamonds. And together. Yeah. 
so nice. Yeah, together, uh, um, Andrew and Alison agrees. Uh, that there is something about that. The pretty sounds, says Ramona. Yeah, I agree. The pretty sounds really are, are beautiful. And these two um, are really beautiful. It's like a long forgotten memory, that sound, or something. Lo fi scape. Saving and pressing the button to see what happens now. Lo fi tremolo here. Okay, here comes Phoenix. <laughs> it's the same name, lo fi tremolo, but an entirely different sound. Still got some of the same characteristics, but the the ring model, whatever it is, is not as widely open. It's very different. Here's Diamond. And I had to reset the transport so that the tremolo should sync up. Here's the two of them. Oh, it didn't sync, so it sounds kind of alien-like. I like it. Andrew, is my room very dark now? Because as it gets later, I've got a ring light I can switch on if you think the room is too dark. Might be interesting to know that. It does sound like a busy signal in the background. That's really weird, isn't it? Ha! Huh. That's really interesting. I never thought of that. Somebody has left me a reply on Telegram. Wow. I don't know who it is. Right, saving and moving forwards. I'm going to have a drink in a minute as well, so I will... Put on a thing. Lush Lounge. Can I get the same over here? Come on. Yeah, we got the same on both of them. So Phoenix's Lush Lounge is a bit like this. And Diamond's Lush Lounge is this. And together. I like that a lot. Yeah, the two of them together is that nice sort of um, floaty chorus. Here's the separates again, Diamond. Phoenix. And together, I think is the winner. smooth as like that hitting the plus where are we going mechanical push let's get mechanical push up on phoenix as well if it's going to be the same sound because sometimes it's not yeah it is And together. Hey, 
fun. Again, it's one of those where you can really hear the innards. So let's compare the two, shall we? Because you can probably tell a massive difference in this instance. Diamond and Phoenix. Quite different. That low C is so fat. Phoenix, diamond. It's different. Yes, it is. And let's do the top end. So that... That's diamond. And phoenix. Yeah, quite a thing. Save and plus. Oh man, you get into a rhythm, you know? Melo vibrato. Pressing it and shifting. Ah, here we go. And there's diamond. Oh, the, the the delay is different. Listen, diamond and phoenix. It's faster. So together, you get a double. Which is actually kind of cool. Yes, Roland preview. I did throw it in there. I wondered if anybody would pick up on it. I uh, I like that preview. It uh, it's it's better than the new Phantom one, which is just boring. Something like a. Uh, I can't remember. It. It's been so long since I've heard it. It's it's not quite like that, but it's something like. Um, and I have a Phantom next to me, so I could probably get it up to do that. But anyway, it's not as good as the old XV preview. That was a fantastic preview. So much so that I nicked it for one of the um, pre hear sounds of my Piano Tech uh, Rhodes preset. Because <laughs> I'm a naughty boy. Yep. Old tape. <laughs> tape on phoenix i'm saving because you know <laughs> you know the drill oh music box phoenix is different that is a really 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 wide stereo image <laughs> old tape and definitely sounds like old tape
Yes, anyway. Together. Of like the combination of them <laughs> together, I must say. Right, I hit the savey, I hit the plus, and what happens? Oh, I can't even pronounce that. Homage je flange, what? When I do my AI captions, it's going to have a really interesting time with that name. Uh, Andrew, if you can see the name of that preset, can you type it in the chat? The one on Diamond? I have no idea what that says. <laughs> Sorry, I'm making you do unpaid work there. It's really bad. Okay, Phoenix. Switching from music box. Oh, we've got old tape on Phoenix. I'm going back, okay? Just, you know what might happen. I've done it, and actually... It didn't die on me. Thank you so much. Okay. Phoenix old tape sounds like this. Diamond old tape. And together. If we do something um, more staccato so you can hear the I don't know what color buttons are on this keyboard. So there's that weird name preset again. And can we make the match up again? Yes. Okay. So we're on this name with a really, really, really freaky name that I don't know what it says. Diamond version of that weird name. Oh, that's really quite rich. And the diamond one. I think it's interesting, right, how these seem to swap places every now and then. Sometimes Diamond is richer, sometimes Phoenix is richer. Um, sometimes it has more bark, sometimes the other one has more. It's just so interesting. They swap around a lot. It's really cool. And yeah, old tape is like every old 70s, 80s TV show. It really is. Mr. Roger, Sesame Street, etc. Yeah, I do like Um, okay, this is Diamond. So here's the Diamond version of this name that I can't pronounce. And what have we got? Um, and Phoenix. And Diamond. Okay, so the Phoenix screen. Okay, you only see the Phoenix screen. Interesting. Um, I can... Where's this one? That's Phoenix. There's Diamond. 
So now I don't know if you see the diamond screen. Basically, what I asked um, somebody cited to do was to try and drag the screens such that you could see both the plugins at once. Um, but I don't think it necessarily worked. To be honest, because somebody once complained in the live stream that they couldn't see the sound. They couldn't see the sound. I said in the <laughs> it wasn't in the chat. It was as a comment. And I was like, why don't you listen to it? Don't just watch it. Because they're like, if I can't, well, some people have said that if they if they cannot see the plugin that they're, that they're going to buy, they don't buy it. Yeah, that was my response as well. Stunned silence. Stunned silence hit me. It's like, I am here to show you what things sound like. I apologize if I ever miss the visuals on something, but this channel has and always will be about what things sound sound like that's why i spend so long on all these presets all right some of them i do skip over faster than others but if you're watching a lot of other channels you might just get a no talking version of a preset and somebody might play a preset for 10 seconds i will spend minutes on these and i bounce back and forth so you can make the most informed decision and buy whatever you want i'm not having a rant i'm not even having a go i'm just stating a fact <laughs> so the comment just like sh sh shocked me for a bit like why are you watching it Put this on in the background. Do the washing up. Mow the lawn. Put headphones in. Bop around the house. Listen. Listen. That is all it's about. Listen. I'm done now. <laughs>But anyway, ever since then, I've done my best to try and have the visual thing on screen so that people who want to see can see and people who don't or can't don't have to bother. Right, let's combine these two homaged flinged noises. I really like these sounds. I have no idea what it says, but I really like it. Right, 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 right. Moving on. Oh, let me hit save first. You know, I've been neglect of that sometimes. I try not to be, but it does mean also that if it does crash, we're only like one preset behind, so. Over noise. Oh, that's gonna be fun. All right, changing to that on La Phoenix. Over noise on Phoenix has been achieved. Very interesting. They're totally different sounds. I mean, completely. Listen to this, this diamond. Phoenix. And Diamond. I don't know which I prefer. I just like the sound of them, period. I just think it's interesting. Diamond. 
and together. I'm playing as soft as I can so you can hear the kerklunk. So here's the difference between the two of them. Here's Diamond's kerklunk. And Phoenix's kerklunk. And upper. And Diamond. <laughs> what, what I'd like to do, I'm not going to do it because you know this project is so temperamental already. Most of my other live streams, in fact, none of the others have gone this weirdly before. But it, on my own time, what I'd like to do is just add a massive, massive ongoing reverb to this and just so that lift the keys and then just record that. <laughs> Use that as a sound. So what I'd like to do, get this whole sound of decay completely decay and probably just leave logic recording and then put a reverb on it and then i just want that just that i think that could be a really fun thing um it could sound like a really baby slamming door <laughs> a door that's like i'm going to my room catch hunk that's how angry i am i slam it with the tiniest of angrinesses right <laughs> moving on um pedal resonance Yeah, you'll get a lot of that. Right, saving and sh changing, changing preset. Come on. Ooh, we get another one on Phoenix, phased fields, nothing to do with pedal resonances. So it skipped over pedal because that's PE, right? Pedal is PE and this is PH, phase resonances. So that means that there's no pedal resonance on Phoenix. So that's called phased fields. So this one, pedal resonances. We're going to have to do what we normally do here and make a pad out of these. So the name of the preset that was um, eluding me was actually three words. I thought it was like a one word thing. It's on a jet flange. Now I know. I mean, it's too late, but I appreciate the knowledge. The knowledge has been had. Woo. You know when I find a sound like that, it's one of my quote forever sounds, unquote, because you could just, the, the, the combination of the two of them is absolutely lovely. So, again, just to remind you, the separation of these two, because they're not the same preset. This is a Diamond's preset, which is currently pedal resonance. It's very, very rich in tonality, this. The bass on this is just glorious. And then you have phased feels on Phoenix. I would quite happily love all on its own, regardless. But when you combine the two, yes.
and then together. Wow and wow. Love that. <laughs> Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Saving the progress, because you know. Make the phase uh, feels extra spacey by giving it an extreme pitch bend makeover. Yes, you could do that. Phasing diamond. Okay, before we move on, I have to play these two together, Phased Fields and Phasing Diamond, because I feel like this is another match made in digital heaven. <laughs> if you could see the, well, some of you can, see the smile on my face, especially the upper, the upper registers of this together. That is the stuff right freaking there. That is the stuff. That's unbelievably lovely. Comment if you like that sound. That combination of sounds, I should say. Diamond has been moved on to Hypergates. That cannot... That must be some really weird spelling of the word hyper. Fiper. Because we're in the P's, so I don't understand. But that's okay. I'm not going to try to. And saving and shifting Phoenix to... Okay, we've got phasing Phoenix here. <laughs> And uh, diamond sound. And of course, the togetherness has to happen. So, what we got? So someone asked what if I would go through Massive. Um, Massive has an ungodly amount of presets. The number is higher than I can count, I think. I'm not even sure. But it's a lot. So I probably wouldn't go through Massive in its entirety because I would be here all week. I'd be here from Saturday 2 p.m. UK time to Saturday 2 p.m. UK time the next week. It would be impossible. Absolutely impossible. Um, there's an annoyance in my house now. The washing machine is being very annoying by spinning and making a bunch of noise in the kitchen. We're going to replace that thing. It's old and clunky. And I should probably sample its face off before we get rid of it, but here we are. Pitch underlay. Like that. Let me move preset uh, Phoenix. What we got? Hey, speak to me. Ah, so we do have a Phoenix in the sky because of course we had diamonds in the sky earlier. So this is Phoenix in the sky. So these two combinations um, together because I'm not going back to diamonds in the sky. You think I'm crazy. You think I want to tempt fate. 
Oh no, I do not. So that's the diamond, uh, the phoenix. This is a diamond. So they're quite different presets now. They're you know vastly different. But we've had a lot of that as we get toward the end of our list together. Um, we have quite varying presets. Um, they might come back together in the end, but for now, I kind of like these changes. That's both of them together. So cool. All right, let's switch diamond on to its next home. Psyche Echoes. And Phoenix has moved safely on to Phoenix Pad. Ooh. corresponds to this sorry this corresponds to diamond pad earlier do you remember we had diamond pad and phoenix pad was obviously not in the d's because it didn't begin with the same thing so if they'd have called it like padded diamond or padded phoenix then they would have lined up but they didn't so yeah all right so the, the togetherness of these sounds well i'll play them again separately for you diamond um currently psyche echoes <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix pad. So what do they do together? I like it. Shifting that one on. Psychedelic bells. Nice. Und la Phoenix. Hypergates. Oh. So we had this earlier with Diamond, and I was like, wait, that sounds like an H name. But it must be, it's a PH, obviously, but I have no idea how you're spelling Hypergates or Fipergates or whatever it's calling itself. So these together, and this will make a nice pad. So here's the the, the Phoenix Hypergates or Fibergates or Fibergates. And the Diamond Psychedelic Bells. Because again, it's that um, attack of one and no attack of the other, and you get a really cool sound, I think. Here we go. And of course, because Diamond in this particular configuration of sound has no bottom end at all, but the uh, Fipe Gates thing does, it does make a really good combination together. I do like that. So, going through mass massive or battery kits, well, when you have as many expansions as I do, because I have 14 Ultimate Collectors, then, yeah, um, I'm not doing that either. You couldn't pay me enough. Sorry. That'd take forever. That'd be like going through every Omnisphere sound as opposed to my just my favourites. My favourites took four hours and something, and that was... I don't know how many favourites I have in Omnisphere. I should try and look one day. But, uh, yeah. No. That one is... Ooh. Pumping triplets, okay. 
and let's see if I can get Phoenix on the same sound. Now this now we've got pitch underlay on Phoenix, so we're we're a few behind. What do these two sound like together? I like that. I like the togetherness of these. So I think I need to leave Phoenix alone a bit uh, because, oh no, sorry. I need to leave Diamond alone for a minute, see if I can get these back to being parity. So I'm gonna shift Phoenix on a bit and see where we end up. Playing, ah, playing in the rain. There is a, there's another Phoenix sound that is not on Diamond, interesting. favorited that sound on Phoenix because I really like that. If we combine, oh god, I can't speak because of the mic ducking. If we combine this pumping triplets with playing in the rain, what's that like? That's so cool. I'm going to move Phoenix on again, purely because it's PL and Diamond is on PU, and I want to see if we can get parity again. Psyche Echoes, okay, we're getting there. It's a very different Psyche Echoes than Diamond was. And no, I'm not going back to try and risk it. Are you mad? I'm going to move it on again. <laughs> Psychedelic Bells. You'll have to do this test yourself because I'm scared. Moving on from psychic bells, pumping triplets. Right, we're back in parity. So that's Phoenix pumping bells and Diamond pumping bells. I said bells, triplets. And the togetherness, just to set the transport. Quite similar in this case, so you could pick either or. If you if you're gonna purchase both of these plugins, you you can just choose whichever, I suppose. I don't feel like there's a marked difference in these. Shifting on diamond at last to punchy diamond. Okay. And can we move Phoenix on without causing catastrophic failure? Uh, apparently, the answer is yes, at least for now. Okay, great. Yeah, okay, so uh, we're back in parity. So we have. That's Phoenix. And of course, together. Sorry, Diamond again. So yeah, lots of, I like the sounds here. Um, they're both great. That's Phoenix. Which do you prefer? Phoenix and Diamond. They're both barky, aren't they? Ah, 
both very nice in their own right. All right, I've shifted. I've shifted. Punch your suitcase. Ugh. Punch that suitcase. All right, let's move on, Phoenix. I'm hitting safe between every preset change now. I mean, literally, I'm paranoid. I'm so paranoid. And Phoenix's punchy suitcase. <laughs> I think together they make a nice sort of uh, chorusy phased effect. play them again separately because I did a lot of um, togetherness just there so diamond I think they're great in their own right. They both have places to, to, to fit here. Um, I like them both. All right, the button has been pushed. Quarter pulse. Let me switch Phoenix as well. Yeah. Yeah, we're both in, in luck. Gonna reset the transport. So they hopefully line up. All right, here's Diamond. Phoenix. That's a head turner, isn't it? Make sure you look your head uh, or move your head and together. Quarter pulse. So that's one moved off of that. What we got? Retro radio box. And Phoenix. All right. This one's just very loud. <laughs> I don't know what you're supposed to do with this. That is diamond. 
No, it's not. Yeah, that was Diamond. And Phoenix. Okay. Together, they're going to sound very, very angry. Are you ready? That's what you get. It's too loud for me. I don't like it. It's too loud. Right, next. Right for a radio speaker. And on Phoenix. <laughs> Shifty. Okay, they've both been switchy switchied. So here's Phoenix. I feel like I should be going. Sorry, the number you've called is not available and will never be available again. And on Diamond, the number you called is still not available, so please stop ringing. And together, it just phases and scares me, and the number remains out of service. So there we go. Radio speaker. Retro radio speaker. We're in the arse, so... Rock Diamond. I'll try and do a blues or something. Let me switch Phoenix. Cars, you know, the drill. Rocking Phoenix. So it's, um, that's interesting. We have Rock Diamond and Rocking Phoenix. They're a bit different. So that is the Phoenix. again. Diamond. And all together. Saving and moving on gently and carefully. Rotafuzz. Okay, that doesn't just go around in a circle. It goes up and down and around my head as well. Very interesting sound. Hitting the plus button on Phoenix. It's angry, but kind of cool. And together.
Yeah, it's quiet. Quite uh, an angry noise. But uh, good on stage, I think. <laughs> Silver Diamond. Let me switch the old Phoenix to something else as well. And Silver Phoenix. is Phoenix and Diamond. And all together, please. together. I like them all separately as well. So, diamond. And phoenix. Quite interesting, the uh, the differences. When you've got something exaggerated, like the top end of these are, because it's silvery and it's therefore shiny and, you know, it really does show off how they do sound different. Diamond. And Phoenix. And Diamond. And together. All right. And saving, because I think we're nearing the next crash time. It has been a long time already. The last one happened at, I think, 450, 3.51. So, um, yeah, we, we are due for one, <laughs> I'm afraid. And, uh, I, you know, I know it's going to happen, so I'm just kind of preempting it now. So, all right, shifted Phoenix on. Slow vibrato on both cases. on diamond together because I think it'd be really nice. Um, 
so fun. So I'm wondering, um, Alison, since you like these, are you going to buy these? And some of the distortion is intentional, yeah. I mean, it's not that my setup is clipping. I think what's happening um, sometimes is it might be hitting the limiter a tiny bit um, because if it clips on the live stream, as in actually clips, then we have a real problem. What I can always do is knock down each of these um, channels by a tiny bit, see if that helps. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes the distortion is intentional because the sound itself has distortion in it. All right, so we move on to Smoking Diamond. See, that one definitely is intentional. That's got some, dr some grit and bit. as well moving on and just see where we end up yep smoking phoenix yep can't really hear the difference in the two, I'll be honest, in this case. This is Diamond. Here's Phoenix. Okay, the decays are about the most different thing about these. Okay, the delays are different. Okay, <laughs> This is a Phoenix delay. And Diamond. That's about it. There's not like a definitive. Yeah, they're kind of much of a muchness. That was Diamond. Uh, sorry, that's Phoenix. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they're, they're still pretty cool, but uh, I can't really hear much of a thingy in them. All right. Smooth pulse. And moving Phoenix on. Okay, so far, so good. Smooth pulse on Phoenix. It is it is quite smooth. Um yeah. So here's the diamond version. Interesting, interesting. So DJ something that I don't know, ask what I'm using to play this. I'm using a complete control S61 Mark II. Uh, I have a Mark III on order. It will arrive at some point soon. And uh, yeah, until then, I'm using an S61 Mark II. I'll be very interested to see how the new NKS features help me uh, control my products better. Because right now, Obviously, I don't know because I don't have the new keyboard, but when I do, yeah, I'll be talking about it. And you can be sure of that. Moving on to, to Smooth Vibes. Oh, that's um, that's going to make you uh, switch your head from side to side like a twitchy animal. And Phoenix. Switching to, as well, Smooth Vibes. I just reset the transport. Thank you. 
I like sounds like that. Some people get really affected by sounds like that. I'm not one of them. It doesn't make me motion sick or anything. I quite enjoy them. So the diamond version. Silver. And together. How interesting, they switched places. So one is going left while one is going right. So it's actually inverting. So it kind of just sits in the middle. Oh, now it seems normal. Save and switch. <laughs> it's not bait and switch, it's save and switch. Soft warmth. And for the next one, switchy switch, come on. Soft warmth. So that's Phoenix. And Diamond. much softer isn't it and phoenix and diamond and phoenix together. both of them together. It's so warm. Yep, like that. Just uh, to show you again, because I'll do some low end stuff, uh, I've done the top end stuff, diamond by itself. No, nope. that was together. Sorry, to get a separate diamond. And 
Phoenix. I do like them. Um, I think Phoenix is richer in this instance. This is Diamond. And Phoenix. And together. Pressing the plus, moving it on. Spacious expanse. Same on Phoenix, pressing the button. Spread flange. So not even the spacious expanse on Phoenix. I like both of these for different reasons. Yeah. And on diamond. And so, the togetherness. So you see, interestingly, um, they both have a part to play in this. They both bring something to the table that's uh, quite nice overall. Super rich. Right, so where are we? We are spacious expanse on diamond and on phoenix, spread flange. So that's SPR and SPA on diamond. So I'm going to move the SPA on C. Okay, now we're in, um, in parity again. Because we've got the same sound on both again. So this is the diamond version of spread flange. Phoenix. Add the diamond. So that one actually, to me, sounds way more rich. I suppose it's because it's got that lovely upper end, whereas the Phoenix one is more mellow. So again, it's not like one is better, just this one in this time, the way that I play this, at this particular thing. And 
end on Phoenix. So I think that's just a case of whichever you prefer on the moment. I think for the softer stuff. That works nicely. And on diamond. I don't know, I can't say which is better. They're just different. And they're together. actually I think that's the again the killer experience I'm really glad I set this stream up this way because you kind of really get to experience both um, as together as I can make it all right moving on to when you decide stereo mod so stereo mod you would think the mod wheel would do something the mod wheel still does nothing I'm so annoyed about that it's not it's a performance controller that should always do something so that if you use this on stage, you haven't got to reach for a control to turn the, the tremolo down or whatever, anything. Like, oh, who thought of that was okay? It's not okay. Mm, that's Phoenix, okay. Stereo mod on Phoenix as well. I'll reset the transport because I want to see if they line up. That's Phoenix. Again, uh, Diamond is, is, is quite... I feel like it's either glassy or metally the way it sounds, which is no bad thing. I'm just, it's just the, the way the sound is at the moment. Phoenix. And diamond. I don't know, which I like better. Do I even like my better? Phoenix. Diamond. Phoenix again. They're just different. And together. They're just nice. I could imagine sticking a big fat reverb on that on some delay and doing some fun stuff. And we move on to what you're going to give me. Stereo phase. That's just nice in itself. No need to do anything with that. Move on to Phoenix though. Can we get them to line up still? Yeah, they both got stereo phase. So the diamond stereo phase. Let's see if I like Phoenix as much. I do. Phoenix again. All right, and obviously the get together.
yeah, the together is, is again, in this instance, one of those where I thought that might be the case, the together is the best of everything. So if someone were to ask me which of these two are my favorites, I wouldn't be able to choose because they're both good in their own right and they both work really well together. So I don't want to say I prefer this over that because I don't think I do. I think they both have a part to play and I really like how these are working out today. I'll be honest. Saving and moving on to Street Head. Why is it so clippy? I think that is actually just saturation again. It's not me. I can attempt to do something. No, it's, it's the sound, because I've turned the thing down to 14 and a half dB and it still clips, so let me just get it back to... Okay, we're back at zero dB. That's just the way the sound is, because I did wonder for a minute. Okay. On to Phoenix and moving that to the same street head. Yep, we're good. It's just a clippy sound, so ah, uh, yeah. on without me to suitcase chorus and I didn't ask it to so let me go back <laughs> and hope it doesn't crap the bed okay there we go I was supposed to go up here yeah look how how clippy that both is that is definitely the sound not me right now we move on to suitcase whatever it was what's it called suitcase chorus Phoenix, what you got for me? Suitcase warm. Not the same as suitcase chorus. It jumped over that because, of course, if it's an alphabetical order, then suitcase chorus should be before suitcase warm. There is no suitcase chorus in Phoenix, apparently. suitcase chorus up there on the diamond so if I put the two together diamond on because I think it's probably going to line up oh no suitcase flanger so there are more all right
that's lovely. Definitely lovely. And moving it on still. See if we can get the suitcase warm. Suitcase phaser. List. It's not, it was, I mean, it wasn't, now it is. Can't speak. Right. Suitcase vibrato. So it skips over warm. Oh, wait, no, V. V is before W. Love that. Was favorited and now it isn't and now it is again the one thing i wish complete control did was actually tell you when you come across a favorite just say start after the name or something or do something to alert you it's really annoying right still on diamond then i'm going to move it forward one more see where we end up super spread so we bypass suitcase warm i guess there's no suitcase warm on that one all right That's lovely. That's lovely. I think Redi Diamond might redeem itself in some of you listeners' ears uh, because of those uh, last few presets. At least if I were saying only going for Phoenix, for example, I know some of you probably will, I think that uh, maybe those last few might might sway you you know it could be like a two for one deal or something um here's the two together noticed there was delay it's on the diamond preset oh wow okay didn't notice that on the super spread preset so on the phoenix one which is still on suitcase warm i'm gonna have to move it on now because it's now um behind the other so shifting phoenix on and suitcase chorus all right can we catch up moving on from suitcase chorus to Suitcase flanger. Oh, okay. That was the same as the um, thing before, so we're, we're catching up. I didn't realize that uh, one had surpassed the other quite so much. Suitcase phaser. Lovely. Lovely. Suitcase vibrato. next i think it might be back super spread okay so there was a gap and for some reason it just wasn't in my head that uh, the two were 
Sorry. So that's the diamond, uh, the, di the diamond phoenix, the diamond super spread. Phoenix. If you're here in the live chat, I'd be curious to know how you found the stream. Did you come from the Facebook group I did post in the Native Instruments Facebook group earlier? I saw that. I'd never seen it before. But apparently it said, uh, since your post is about Native Instruments, do you want to post in this group? I was like, all right, fair enough, I will. It's interesting. Oh, I didn't combine the two. Let's do a combine the two before I move on to the next preset. Saving and pressing that all important preset down button. Sweet diamond. We better do Phoenix as well. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, we got him. Sweet Phoenix. off the chair and I nearly fell sideways. Never mind. Save. It's becoming a force of habit. Taped, wow, and flutter. Okay, Phoenix, can you join your brethren, Diamond? Yes, you can. That one 
seems like, again, one of those lost memories that you can't remember what it's supposed to be, but you just know it's there and you can't think of what it is. So you've got to play sort of sad chords. What chord? Oh, key should we play? What have I not played in today? I always try to play in at least a bit of everything. Oh, I don't know. Just a D minor. So that was the diamond. Let's do the Phoenix Lost uh, tape. What was it called? Not Lost tape. <laughs> Taped. Wow, well, I'm flattered. together. So sad. On the recommended YouTube homepage? Well, I'll be damned. I never thought I'd make my live stream get there. I'm just a, a guy in London doing what I do, making noises and pressing buttons and crashing logic. Uh, today's been two crashes and I'm expecting a third because it's just the way it is. Tiny speaker. By the way, this is stream number seven, I think. I've done seven of these live streams. Um, so uh, if you want to see what else I've covered in previous, then do look back at the rest of the channel. And uh, if you like to do that, I'm not even going to say it. You know what to do. If you're a YouTuber, I'm not even going to say it. I'm not going to put you through that because everyone always does. If you want to, you will. And if you don't, you don't. Okay, tiny speaker. So Phoenix. And tiny speaker on diamond. Phoenix. And together because what you do, you know. If I was adventurous, I'm not today at all, because I've had so many problems, I would pan these out hard, left and right, and see what they sounded like. But I'm not going to do it, because you just know it's going to fall over. Right, <laughs> we must be getting toward the end now. Touchwa. All right. Phoenix, Phoenix, Phoenix. Can we get the same? Can we get the same? Touch one. Nice. So let me reset the transport. And if I play the two together. That's cool. Oh, 
I think Phoenix is coming out the winner for most people in the stream this afternoon. It's very interesting. Very interesting. I mean, it's not bad. It's just interesting because um, I, I feel like it could also be me, right? So whenever you hear any of these kind of streams, and I have to say this, to be transparent, it's all about the player. You're not playing it. So you will play it vastly different than how I will play it. So don't not buy something because I didn't play it right. That's my fault, not your ears. Yeah, it, that's absolutely me. So if I'm messing it up, tell me how I can try and play better in the chat. That's Diamond, uh, sorry, Phoenix. This is Diamond. That is softer than Phoenix. I think it doesn't cut through as well, does it? And in case of Phoenix, that's just for this one sound though. I think again, the combination of the two is what really makes it for me. That is if I would use this sound at all. I mean, it's one of those, the thing is about all these presets is that you have to use, don't have to use any of them. You might find a single preset in a hundred that you're like, that is me forever. And nothing you say is gonna change that. So if you find that one thing, get it, uh, purchase it, stick with it, use it, love it. And that's fine. That's what's, that's what's nice about all these. Better to have too many presets than too few though. Better to have too many than too few. Absolutely. Time machine. And Phoenix, please. Let's see if it does it. Yeah, time machine on Phoenix too. What do they do together? Because I'm kind of curious. They sound so alike, it's really hard to tell in this instance. In this instance. Diamond. And Phoenix. There's not even much in it. They're so, so, so close. Could not tell you. In a blind test, I don't think I could tell you um, any of that. Right then. Tremolo, 70s. As I'm a big fan of that sound, I am a fan of that sound, if that makes sense. Right. Can we get Phoenix to do the same? Yep. So that's interesting. It's an entirely different tremolo they've used. I mean, that's nothing alike the other one. Diamond, for reference. Phoenix. How interesting, completely different. And the togetherness of them. Again, for me, it's the combination of the two that really kills it. 
I mean, I think I think the Phoenix overall on that sound is better. No, actually, do I? No. Do you know what? It doesn't matter. I, I, again, I'll probably use both. Tremolo, easy. That's the diamond version. Let me get the Phoenix up. Oh, man, that's sparkly. I love it. I think this is when I first played... on diamond. And of course together, let me reset the transport. When I say reset the transport, for those of you who don't know, um, I just press play and stop on Logic because it uh, resets the pulses and things in things that are tempo synced together. <laughs> They're so funny together. Wow, they just out of sync themselves. I didn't do anything. They're better that way. So interesting. So interesting. Right then. We're getting to that point in time where I just feel something's going to happen. So, Trumbler spread. All right. Phoenix <laughs> hitting the button. Oh, tremolo, tremolo pad on Phoenix. That means that there's probably, right, there's no tremolo pad on diamond, which means that tremolo spread is probably next. But before I do that, ah, that really takes away the mic for a long period of time because of the way the uh, sound gets louder and then the ducker kicks in. Let's play these two together before I move the uh, Phoenix onto tremolo spread, or hope it's there anyway. say is very strange. Okay, Phoenix. Tremolo spread. There it is. And the diamond version. Phoenix. And diamond.
Don't know who trying to push it there. I think for bark reasons, I prefer the um, Phoenix. And Diamond. I don't know. I like it, but I can't say what I like about it. There's a thing, there's a thing in there that I like. just think and what about the two together because you know it has to be done <laughs> well it's a thing what it is it's a thing and we hit the button uplifting thrill it, 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 it goes up it does what it says on the tin it, it lifts out of the world and phoenix has um, something called velvet phase These won't go together very well because it's weird, but let's put them together anyway. <laughs> well, I was right, wasn't I? Very strange. Let's move um, Diamond on to see. Yeah, it has Velvet Phase. So here is Velvet Phase on the Diamond. And Phoenix. And let's do the same thing in the lower octave. Um, Phoenix. Sorry, no, it was not. It was Diamond. This is Phoenix. I have two things to say about this. One, this one seems more cultured and therefore nicer in a studio setting. But on a stage, guaranteed I'm going for Diamond on this particular preset. So yeah, it, on this particular thing, definitely diamond, um, because I have a piece that's like that. It's called fruit juice, and I pull it out on every live stream. I'm playing it in the wrong key. I was just seeing, but it actually goes. And that's going to cut through more on stage than this. I mean, it's warm and it's nice, and don't get me wrong, if I'm playing something like this... And if I do that on diamond...
I think that Phoenix sings better in the higher register in this particular sound, so if I'm playing with an accompanist, perhaps... Something about it just says, yep, top end, but the bottom end, diamond wins. Which probably means that... Uh Together, beauty. Love it. The two together again is where it's at. And vibe like on diamond and vintage chorus on Phoenix. Oh, that's beautiful. the diamond version of this vibe like together I really like both of them for different reasons. Can I get them to line up again though? That is the question. Vintage organ on diamond. All right, let's see what Phoenix does. Cause I'm kind of at a loss now, I don't know where I am. Oh, I did it. They're both lined up again on vintage organ. Okay, so this is the diamond vintage organ. Um, Phoenix. So again, I think that one is going to depend on how you feel about it as to which one you want to use. Because let's see if the bottom end on diamond is rich as I think it probably is on this kind of a sound. You get to kind of know the sounds a bit after a while or, the, or what you think it's going to be like. Uh, let's see if I'm right. And Phoenix. So Phoenix has bite on the bottom end, definite bite, but it doesn't have the bass. Diamond. So interesting. And diamond. And together. Hang on. Just reset the cook now. Transport. near the end we have to be because we're in the bees warbling diamond ah oh, yeah it's got a bit of fluctuation on it bit of fluctuation on it so it does warbling phoenix and 
the first one, diamond. <laughs> And of course together, after we do that. I like the two together. <laughs> this happens a lot, doesn't it? Happens a lot. Okay. Warm crunch. And bring the Phoenix to wet Phoenix, not warm crunch. If anything, this is like the solo sound from heaven. It's a good job that's near the end of the line, isn't it? Because I wouldn't leave otherwise. All right, um, so that's warm crunch on diamond. So can we get diamond to a wet diamond as well? Yes, we can. So here's wet diamond. So this sound is too harsh for a solo sound like that. Because of the wetness for me, I think it's better. I don't know what, what would I do with this? Phoenix has more bite, and I was wrong about Diamond not being a solo sound. I don't know, it's just a different thing. It's not, it's not bad, it's just it's different. That's Phoenix. And of course, together.
Macho Reverbo is what I can say about that. This one is called Workstation Tines on Diamond, and can we get the same on Phoenix? Come on! Yep, so this is probably guessing, emulating the old sort of Rompler workstations that we used to use. Diamond. This sounds more like a rolling sound to me than the di than the Phoenix. They're both nice. What do they do together? Bottom end together is Fiat. Huge! Absolutely ginormous. And that, oh, apart from let me just check Phoenix because I think, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've come to the end of the line, ladies and gentlemen. We have actually done it. We have come to the end of the line. So I'll just stick that on to go over it. Ha! We did it! We did it with only two crashes. I was expecting 17 and a half, I'll be honest. Well, computer, I pat you. You did good. You did good. Whew. Wow. I'm actually really relieved. Because I was so concerned that was just not going to happen. Alison has been here from the very beginning. You have a cookie from me. Thank you for being here from the top to the bottom. Appreciate you. You personally. And if you're watching the archive, and if you watch from top to bottom as well, I appreciate you too, personally. You're done good. Give yourself a free pat on the back from me. This video has not been sponsored by Native Instruments, but these were gifted to me by Native Instruments. So I have to make that clear, just to be transparent about it but you heard me complain about it. You heard that it crashed my system. I'm not happy about that portion of it, uh, but I will be honest and blunt like I always am. I'm not allowed, to, I'm not going to take editorial or have anybody take editorial control over what I say on my channel. It is my channel. And uh, any sponsor that does do that, I've never been sponsored for a video by the way, never. But if I was, that is something that I would be very, very stringent on. Do not tell me what to do or say. That's not how this works. Anyway, thank you very, very much. Appreciate you all. And I will leave you, I think, because I'm sleepy. Stream done. We all made it to the end. If you're buying, let me know in the comments. Yeah, I'll be curious to know. But with that, good, happy, bye-bye. Stay well, stay safe. and stay.